Good morning. Thanks for staying with us. Uh, and welcome again to the Hydrogen Fuel Cells Battery Se Group Exhibit 2018. Uh, again, please stay seated and enjoy a drink on the house. Uh, this morning I have uh, Werner Diewald, who's the chairman at the German Hydrogen and Fuel Cell Association. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Uh, please have a seat. Uh, so our, our topic today, your topic today, is uh, the results of the study green hydrogen potential in the refinery. So please tell us about that. Yes, thank you. Good morning, everybody. Um, yeah, we had made a study uh, for green hydrogen in refineries. So the big issue is the technology is there. We see it everywhere. What make we with the hydrogen in the economic world? And we see there's a big, uh, huge potential in the refineries. They have reduced the greenhouse gas emissions. In the moment, they do it with biosuper fuels. And the idea is to take or to use green hydrogen, which we produce with PV or wind, uh, and to fulfill the targets. Um, why in the refineries? We see that the um, cost to reduce the carbon or the greenhouse gas emissions in the refineries are around 300 euros. So that is from the economic side a huge chance to integrate the green hydrogen because it's more expensive than grey hydrogen, of course. Um, and that done we before the study, we see that can be economic or we have we can challenge the biofuels or with the biofuels, and we see that the we have to increase the reductions in the next ten uh, two years. We have now reached three. 3.3% uh, reduction, and latest in 2020, we have to reduce 6% of the greenhouse gas emissions, so nearly the double. On the other side, we have this big discussion plate or tank. We see the big nature impacts um, uh, with, um, we have to, to, to produce the biofuels, palm oil, or whatever. And so, okay, that was the results first, economic, it works, but in the end, of course, the operator of the refineries were really interested, and that was the idea to make a study really with the refineries, what is the potential, what is their meaning of them, and now the results on the table. Thank you. And there was, uh, there was talk about sharing the market, um, and there was, uh, in fact, something in regard to gas being uh, purchased from Russia and uh, how, how it could work together by sharing the market with them. Can you expand on that? Yeah, of course. In the moment, the gray hydrogen is made from, from Russian. And, and normally, in Germany, they use Russian natural gas for that. And we see in the moment, we have some issues with the Russians and some embargoes. And so uh, and another benefit could be if we take green hydrogen or if we use green hydrogen in refineries, we can reduce the depending see of, of uh, natural gas from, from the Russian. Of course, that's not zero, but we can reduce it a little bit. That is another positive impact. And um, so we see it especially by the diesel production. They use a, a huge amount of, of uh, additional gray, I call it every time gray hydrogen. Of course, hydrogen has not a, a color, but it comes from the fossil resource. And uh, we, we, we use for that to produce it a steam reformer besides the refineries. And for each ton of hydrogen, we get 10, 11 tons of uh, CO2. So that is really a huge impact for the environment. And so we see there are a lot of benefits. And on the cost side, what I said, it's, it's on the same level like the reduction cost with biofuels. But the question was, how big is the potential? Correct. Uh, and uh, what uh, challenges were encountered during the, the study? The, the challenge was uh, doing the study. Correct. The, uh, that was not really a challenge. We have to, uh, that is very, very easy, because in Germany it's only 12 refineries there, not more. So that is not a lot of stakeholders, and uh, we keep in contact with them. Uh, of course, um, with uh, um, the help of the, um, or what is the name, Association of Oil Companies, and with the um, EGBC and NOW, and so they was really open to, to send us the informations, and so we get really all the informations, 
how many diesel, diesel they produce, how many hydrogen they need additional, what is the cost to, re to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions and so on. So we get really the real numbers, uh, what happens in the refineries, and we keep really in contact with them and uh, get a, yeah, an overview of the, f of the feeling or of the, of the opinion if they be able to replace grey hydrogen through green hydrogen. So that was really yeah, a positive impact that we get, that we get the first time the real data from them and not only some market data which we not really know what happens in the refineries, what are really the costs. Okay, thank you very much. That's uh, all the time we have today. Thank you for sharing that with us. Um, again, this is uh, Werner Diewald, who's the chairman of the German Hydrogen and Fuel Cell Association. And uh, please do go and visit uh, their booth. They're in six, uh, C51, which is just that way. And uh, if you want to expand on this topic, thanks again for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll take it.